Why, hello, hello, YouTubers out there. Um, this is Shadow Studios 9, or Minecraft Primary Artemis, the wonderful panda in the mysterious suit. And I am here in my world called the Tinkerbox today to show you a programmable combination lock. And now you're looking at this, and you're like, that's one lever. You cannot program one lever, nor is that a very efficient lock. On the second account, you are right. That is not an efficient lock. On the first account, you're wrong, but, uh... I made this with only one lock, so it was really easy for demonstration purposes, because a lot of people like to see how these things are made, so, uh... Let's go with it. So, um... This is a very expanded out version of what this is, just so I can easily show you people what's going on. So when you want to program something, the first thing you do is you come over here and you set the reset button. You just push that thing and that goes all the way over here and that resets this uh, NOR latch to the default state. And the default state right now and the default state is false, which means this is up. So actually, if we come over here and look, you'll see the door is open right now. Because re we reset it, which means all the RS nor latches in the setup default to this being up. But when you want to go and program the lock, what you do is you go over here and you flip the program switch. Now what this does is it sends an input into this AND gate. And now that this AND gate has power over here, when you flip one of the switches down, it comes over here, turns the AND gate on, and sets the RS NOR latch to say, okay, this lever is now in the down position, not the up position. So, we turn the programming off, which means we can no longer change the RS NOR latch information from this bugger. And I'll just set this lever to its default state. And you'll notice that now, the door is not open. Whereas earlier, it was open. That's because we reprogrammed it to being down to open the door. And, um, this big thing right here is the XNOR gate. I believe it's the XNOR gate. And what this says is if two signals of the same type are coming into it, then it will send out a true signal. And sends out that true signal to the door. So this is hooked both directly into the lock itself, and it's hooked into this data from the RS NOR latch. So it's always reading the RS NOR latch and it's checking, okay, is this on or off? And when you reset it, of course, the default state is off, but we programmed it to be on. So it remembers, okay, this specific lever's on, and so when this lever is on, it feeds it through here and goes, okay, these two are now the same. You have correctly entered what you programmed in. You may now enter your door to nothing. Congratulations. And now, you may be thinking that's kind of impractical, but if you actually look over here, I built kind of a compact version. It's only, uh... The whole thing is like three blocks wide, just comes back here. It's the same thing, just a much more compact version, so it would be harder to show you guys what exactly is going on. And so all you would do, and this is just the main mechanism here, and then you just use world edit, or by hand, or an MC edit, and just copy and paste this mechanism over and over into infinity, and you could have five bazillion lever combinations, and you can always reprogram them to something different. Say if you're not filling up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, you can change it to down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And of course you would have this inside your little humble abode so that, uh, not anyone could just walk up and reset. Now your door's open. Ha ha, joke's on you. 
Actually, the door is not open because we left the switch on. But um, that has been my programmable switches on the uh, wonderful, wonderful Tinker Box. The night has set, and um, I have heard there are diseased, exploding green creatures out in the wilderness. So uh, I'll be retreating for the night. Toodles. <laughs>